brought that is Fox 10 News reporter Michael Brandon. Michael? Yeah, Simone, two years ago, the iconic Tumors Oak trees were poisoned after Auburn beat Alabama in the 2010 Iron Bowl. Now when you go to Magnolia and College Streets in Auburn, you get a sense something is missing there in Auburn. Even though physically the trees are missing, the Auburn spirit is alive and well. Tumors Corner. The site of Tumors Drugs, where fresh squeezed lemonade is the drink of choice, and where victorious Auburn football wins are celebrated after every game with the rolling of the Tumors Oaks. After Auburn narrowly defeated Alabama in the 2010 Iron Bowl, the two iconic oak trees were poisoned, later putting an end to the 80 year old tradition of rolling Tumors Corner. It's very sad. Um, I don't understand why somebody would do what has been done to the trees. Um, it's, uh, it's really like something is missing. I think the void will stay for a while and uh, I think we all will be missing them. On April 23rd, 2013, the trees were cut down, leaving a void at the corner of Magnolia and College. I think it's, it was devastating when, when the trees were gone and everything else, but the spirit of Auburn lives on. Jeremy Peacock graduated from Auburn in 2001 and has participated in the rolling of Tumors Corner countless times. Whether the trees, trees are here or not, it doesn't matter. You're not gonna, they're not going to take away the spirit here in Auburn. We'll find something else and it'll continue on. We, we love Auburn and the people who were fans here and even came to school here, uh, we come together and we'll, you know, we'll celebrate regardless if the trees are here. We, we do miss the trees, but as you can see by the cables, we'll find another way. You, they're not going to take that away from us. And, uh, uh, we War Eagle, we love it. It's really sad to see. I mean, I came here, I hadn't really been to campus in about 10 years, so I hadn't been since the trees um, were destroyed. So it was kind of sentimental coming in today. A lot of fond memories of coming here after the games and, and rolling the trees. Today, signs placed where the trees once stood say the area is under video surveillance. Well, it, it's very sad, but you know, Auburn has always prevailed through any adversity and you know, they already have a plan in place, I think, to either replace the trees or come up with something. Patton Scales says the loss of the trees will not let the celebrations, the fans, or the Auburn spirit be weakened. The spirit of Auburn is forever as strong as it's ever been, I think, and uh, it hasn't slowed us up a bit. You know, we're going to uh, do well in the national championship game. And uh, we'll be out here again, believe me. I plan on being out here after the game because I know there's going to be a celebration. War Eagle! On April 20th, 2013, Auburn University unveiled a new plan for what the Tumors Corner will look like in the near future. They are going to reconstruct and renovate that entire corner at Magnolia and College Street to commemorate what the Tumors Oak Trees mean to the Auburn family. We have all of that information posted, posted for you on our website, fox10tv.com. And Simone, we also have all sorts of other things posted on our website, fox10tv.com, from the BCS National Championship that we've been covering here all week. Absolutely. And we're looking forward to that game on Monday. However, let's talk about last night. It was the Sugar Bowl matchup 